hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about who has you on their mind? Who's constantly thinking about you? So pal, number one, you're going to be the citrine crystal. Pal, number two, you're going to be the rose quartz crystal. And pal, number three, you're going to be the clear quartz crystal. So again, pile number one, citrine crystal. Pile number two, rose quartz crystal. And pile number three, clear quartz crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the citrine crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one. Who can't stop thinking about you? Who's constantly thinking about you? Who's constantly thinking of you? What do we have here? We have the fool. So this is somebody who wants to take a leap of faith towards you. It could be a new person that is interested in you. Okay, this is somebody who wants to take a leap of, a leap of faith towards you. So who can't stop thinking about you? We have the nine of pentacles. So this is somebody who is single, who is abundant, living a life of luxury. This person could be self-employed, business owner. We have the three of swords. Ooh, this could be somebody that you rejected or feels, re uh, or somebody who just experienced a heartbreak recently. But I feel like you rejected this person with the three of swords yeah this is somebody who wants to take another leap of faith towards you we have the five of swords maybe you guys had a mis um, misunderstanding yeah maybe this is like a new person that you recently started dating and then there, you guys fell off or something or there was like a misunderstanding an argument um you guys not seeing eye to eye and this person cannot stop thinking about you this is somebody who wants to take yeah this person could be younger than you they could be a fire sign um air sign or a earth sign okay so we have um virgo capricorn taurus um gemini libra aquarius or aries leo sag here it, they could be any of those signs don't have to be but this person could be younger than you um very exciting um very like i heard they like the thrill of the chase this person i feel like you guys initially started dating and it kind of went south south because of like some sort of misunderstanding with the five of swords that caused like a rejection or a heartbreak yeah this person's trying to manifest you back this is somebody who's trying to manifest you back into their life either by you mm, i heard like maybe you deleted them from <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 
<laughs> I already may have deleted them from Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, whatever platform that you're using, TikTok, you may have deleted this person or blocked them. Maybe this person wants you to unblock them or just re-add them again to show them like a sign that you're still interested or you want to talk to them again with the magician. They're trying to manifest you back. Yeah, we have the strength card. This person feels like, you know, you're a very strong individual. This person could have Leo, Gemini, or Virgo in their chart. And like I said, fire, water, and it, um, not water. Wow. They could also have water in their chart. But fire, um, air, and earth in their chart for sure. Or they could just have all the elements. But this is somebody who is gonna take a leap of faith to come towards you with the strength card okay they're kind of scared of being rejected by you because like you know how you guys are not seeing eye to eye at the moment but they feel like there's a strong urge like i feel like allow this person to come towards you even though they're trying to manifest you back but they feel like it's like a burden they're trying to have a second chance with you with the wheel of fortune this is somebody who wants to have a second chance who want to work it out that wants to give this connection a chance to see where it could go we have the ten of wands but they kind of feel like it's a burden right now because maybe you are in the queen of swords energy even though i, did, I don't see the queen of swords here but i'm gonna like you might be in the queen of swords energy where you have your guard up against this person you have your sword up against this person and you're really like you're you really want this person to take to take accountability for their actions yeah they don't want me to speak this person knows guys i can't make it up queen of swords guys i can't make it up that's what that's the card that flew out the deck like i said you're in the queen of swords energy and i sense that you are in the queen of swords energy and this person knows it that they have to tread lightly and they they're gonna come back to you okay if you want this person you could take them back if you don't want them obviously you you gotta let them know that you don't want them anymore but this person is not going to back down without a fight okay this person is going to fight to show you that they really care and that they really want to be with you yeah this person wants to take a leap of faith okay we have the queen of pentacles she wanted to come out in reverse but i'm being called to take her to take her upright this person sees you as a uh, very nurturing very loving dedicated reliable trustworthy but you don't take no shit oh gosh <laughs> you don't take no ish okay with the queen of swords like you don't play that okay yeah this is somebody that you have you walked away from emotionally with the eight of cups maybe this person initially walked away as well but now they want to return they want to spin the block on you okay but i feel like yeah we have the devil this person's obsessed they could have capricorn in their chart but this person's obsessed with you guys like oh my gosh this person with the devil energy they're watching you like a hawk even though okay even if you may have blocked this person or deleted them or something like that they're still watching you they have a means to watch you they're definitely like spying on you okay like this person is really like stuck on your energy who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have temperance sagittarius energy this person wants to make peace with you yeah we have the six of pentacles they want to equally give to this connection and the six of wands they want to have some sort of victory with you i feel like initially yeah three cups they want to reconcile initially i feel like this person not i don't think that they breadcrumbed you may they, they may have with some of you but this person may have had like other priorities maybe work maybe school or work in school like they had other things going on that they were really busy with maybe you took it the wrong way where this person was ignoring you not giving you enough attention so you may have pulled away or like i feel like there was a misunderstanding and an agree disagreement yeah five we have the three of swords five of wands and i just saw the five of swords but yeah i lost it but i saw the five of swords again so i feel like there was like some sort of misunderstanding misagreement this disagreement and you pulled away this person pulled away i kind of feel like this person is kind of stubborn but the more and more like you're pulling your energy away and you're clearing your energy from this person they are missing you they are thinking about you they want to come back in your energy they they miss yeah this person's possessive over you with the four of pentacles they miss talking to you they fear that it might be a missed opportunity with the four of cups and they don't want it to be a missed opportunity yeah this person's obsessed with you i just saw the devil again yeah because eight of cups 
emotionally withdrawn like you're emotionally withdrawn from this person and is drawing them back in yeah we have the devil at the bottom of the deck guys i'm telling you this person's obsessed with you they are obsessed with your energy they're obsessed with like everything about you and they want that energy again they want to feel you again they want to be with you again like they want to give that relationship a real chance to flourish to be something because i feel like this is somebody that nothing was taking off the ground as of yet you guys were still at the beginning stage of this connection so yeah ace of swords this is the truth maybe this person is going to come in with some sort of communication yeah they're having a lot of anxiety with the eight of swords they're worried that you might reject them or yeah we have the king of cups this person's in their feelings about you they're definitely in their feelings oh my gosh like you definitely have this person in their feelings about you with the eight of swords they can't stop thinking about you every night like i feel like even you are thinking about this person it's not just them like because they're thinking about you constantly and very strongly passionately you could feel it too you could feel like when this person's thinking about you i feel like even throughout the day they're like this person's always on your mind and you know that it's not you thinking about them it's like it's because they're selling they're telling oh, wow they don't want me to talk oh my god they're sending you telepathic communication they this person wants you to either like you know message them you know call them or like just do something to show <laughs> guys i am getting somebody who's like you know looking at their phone every two seconds to see if you either added them back message them back or something maybe you left this person on red <laughs> this person is something else you may have left this person on red and now they're like kind of like tripping but i feel like this person with their energy i don't really feel like this person has bad intention i feel like it was really a miscommunication and you guys could definitely work it out only if you want to obviously you have free will but i'm not getting any bad vibes from this person it's really like a misunderstanding you guys not seeing eye to eye this person being stubborn and maybe you are being stubborn as well my pal number one and you're like uh-uh like if they're gonna like maybe just like if they want me they're gonna have to prove it to, to like to prove it to me and then they're probably thinking like okay well if they want me they're gonna have to show me a sign so you guys are both being stubborn and mirroring each other's energy so it's like there's no movement there's no there's it's like stagnant but you guys are still feeling each other because that's the vibe i'm getting here like you're still feeling this person yeah queen of wands nine of pentacles yeah this person sees you as the queen of wands very beautiful um, so this could be a masculine and you're feminine. It doesn't matter about your sexual orientation It doesn't matter anything of that sort I feel like this person's maybe operating more in their masculine energy and you're more operating in your feminine energy Regardless of your sexual orientation or whether it's a woman or a man. Okay, but this is what I'm getting here But with the nine of pentacles this person views you as like high maintenance um, Living a life of luxury as well and this is how they feel about you and I feel like this person is also high maintenance or they live a life of luxury Yeah, we have the king of wands We have the queen of wands the king of wands like you guys are mirroring each other This person could be very good-looking too. They get a lot of attention. Okay, so everywhere they go they get attention in their community they could be well known as well yeah you see we have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck so we have two pairs here yeah i just saw the five of swords when i cut the deck open yeah five of swords you guys had a, some sort of argument there could have been some harsh words that was said between each other and now like yeah five of cups this person's kind of like in regret they wish they could take back their words because they know they played a role in the demise of this connection or like the breakdown of this connection where you guys are not talking anymore so obviously i feel like maybe you as well pal number one may have said something or done something that causes person to react in a certain way it's not excusing their behavior but i feel like maybe you triggered this person and then they reacted in a certain way or vice versa they triggered you and you reacted a certain way and you guys are now both being stubborn not talking to each other but missing each other because i feel like pal number one i'm not i'm going to call you out i feel like you miss this person too okay <laughs> oh my god found number one yeah i feel like you miss this person and you want to talk to them again but you feel like you were disrespected or you felt like this person was not validating your feelings 
and maybe this person feels the same way i feel like like i said you guys are mirroring each other and then like you know with the queen of wands you're like yo i'm the queen of wands like i'm that girl i'm that guy like i look good i look fly i get a lot of i have a lot of options a lot of people want to be with me like i don't have to tolerate this i don't have to deal with your bs but you know every relationship i have their ups and downs as long as this person wasn't like toxic or very disrespectful like because i feel like this was like a misunderstanding and some harsh words were said sometimes it could happen that you see some harsh words as long as it wasn't like trying to like somebody's trying to hit below the belt and calling you out of your name and where it's like you know when it's really toxic like you're like nah we're not dealing with that i don't feel like this is what happened i feel like it was more like how dare you say that to me like you know more like your ego being bruised because it's like it could have been the truth what this person said but it could have been like maybe the tone of voice the choice of words was incorrect and maybe this person like feels like oh my gosh i shouldn't have said that i should have like delivered the message in a different way because the way i came out and maybe i came out rude i came out disrespectful so this person is replaying the mo like that day because i feel like it was like it happened in a specific time and maybe you're still thinking about it and they're still thinking about it and thinking about oh my gosh i should have said something else instead of like saying that now Pablo doesn't want to talk to me anymore because i said this but i didn't mean it like that i want to apologize but now they're scared because it's like oh my gosh pal number one walked away so they don't want to talk to me so if i come back are they gonna cut me off with the queen of swords so this person's thinking about a lot of things because we have the eight of swords so that means they're worried about your reaction but they still want to take a leap of faith towards you so it's really up to you my pal number one how you feel about this person when they come back because i really feel like they're going to take action towards you because they are obsessed with you like i said this is the title of this reading who can't stop thinking about you this person's obsessed okay like all the time and i feel like the obsession is mutual you're thinking about them the same way that they were thinking about you okay so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be but i feel like this connection has potential guys like based on what i'm feeling right now it has the potential to be something beautiful if you guys could get past um that hurdle so we have uh gemini um mars we have fourth house so this person could have gemini um in mars or gemini in fourth house or that could be you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two, you picked the rose quartz crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like this much the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, who's constantly thinking of you? Who can't stop thinking about you? What do we have here for you? We have the nine of swords. Ooh, wee. this is somebody who is stressed out over you. Oh, <laughs> this is not really good. <laughs> oh my God, whoever this person is is stressed out. <laughs> This person could have Gemini in their chart or Libra Aquarius, but heavy on the Gemini. Okay. So who can't stop thinking about you? Who can't stop thinking about you? Who can't stop thinking about you? We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to bring in and give you an offer. Who can't stop thinking about you? Ooh, wow. Didn't I see Gemini? Lovers. Yep. This is definitely a Gemini or somebody who has Gemini in their chart, or it could be like an ex lover. Somebody who wants to bring in, give you an offer with the Ace of Pentacles, but I feel like you're refusing it. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who's greedy. Somebody who's selfish. Somebody who could be a PIMP as well, because the King of Pentacles is a PIMP when he's in reverse. He's willing to do whatever it takes with, for money. He's slimy, grimy energy. 
very uh, greedy okay you could be a street pharmacist as well if you know what I mean street pharmacist okay pharmaceutical but for the streets <laughs> so yeah he could definitely be that as well when he's in reverse because he doesn't have like um, yeah he he would do anything even illegal so yeah it's for some of you it's like an ex for somebody yeah the somebody that you've you've been i feel like there is a connection like you guys were in a relationship yeah we have the knight of pentacles this is somebody who was slow to commit to you they played a lot of mind games with the queen of cups they are very emotionally um damaged i'm getting i don't know why i'm getting that because she's not in reverse usually if she's in reverse that's emotional damage this is needy clingy clingy energy but because she's upright i'm getting like yeah this is somebody who's emotionally damaged though because i'm that's the energy i'm getting from this person and with the nine of swords this is somebody who made a lot of pulp wow they don't want me to speak huh yeah and mercury is not retrograde until the 15th so i know it's not mercury <laughs> so with the nine of pentacles is somebody who may have taken a long time to commit or played a lot of games yeah six of swords you're at a distance from this person maybe you had to move away this could have been somebody that you had like a long-term relationship with as well like you lived with this person who can't stop thinking about you we have the strength card and the knight of cups yeah this person was in and out when with their emotions they were not truthful about their emotions we have the strength card this person's like could be holding back from you holding back from contacting you because i feel like this person wants to reach out and want to make amends but they know that you're not dealing with them anymore or Maybe their manipulation or their tactic doesn't work on you anymore. Maybe this person used to give you gifts with the, knight, the king of pentacles as a means to keep you stuck, keep you trapped. Or they wouldn't make false promises saying, oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to go to rehab if this person had like an addiction or anything like that. Or um, maybe if this person was a serial cheater, they would say that they will not do it again and they would cheat on you with the same person again like over and over and over and it's like it was continuously the same thing the same cycle with them okay they weren't changing yeah five of pentacles you left this person out in the cold you rejected this person they feel left out they feel neglected they feel rejected by you that's why they're in the nine of swords because they feel like maybe um eventually you stopped playing the game that this person was playing okay so it's like they like you were doing everything right in this connection i'm getting okay my pal number two you were faithful to this person you were loyal you were dedicated you were giving your all you were you know you were doing what your part you were doing what you were supposed to do what is like not because it is required but because that's what you felt like you needed to do like you wanted to do because you really cared about this person you really loved them because we have the lovers here so the feelings were mutual but this person is self-centered they're selfish they were thinking only about their needs and this person had the tendency to put their needs above your own or do things that they knew wouldn't please you but they didn't care because it was pleasing them it was like you know cheating or doing things that you felt like was illegal or was like you know unethical and you just didn't want to be part of it this person did not respect that they they were greedy like i said with the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is not really good at energy when he's in reverse so this person yeah we have the nine of pentacles they could be going um nine of pentacles they could be losing money because it's in reverse and we have the five of pentacles this is what i'm getting here this person could be losing money yeah we have the four swords like they could like they could be stressed out because the four swords in reverse is like you know um because four swords is putting something to rest like clearing your mental um anguish okay but when it's in reverse it's like it could be a form of depression when it's in reverse and you see this person doesn't want me to talk because i'm stitching on them okay and i don't care <laughs> this person i'm telling you eight of swords guys i can't make it up eight of swords with four swords in reverse that's anxiety that's depression Especially with the four swords in reverse, that's depression. That means you you can't put something to rest. There's, there's like something that's mentally um, antagonizing you. And this is what's going on with the eight of swords. That's like, you know, um, mental anguish. And that's what this person's going through right now. 
with the fact that you're no longer interested in them you're no longer entertaining them and you're no longer going back and forth with them like their old tricks is not working anymore we have the five of cups in reverse this person wants to come out of that energy of that sadness i feel like yeah they're working really hard to win you over this person could be sending you gifts they could be um, yeah, you see they want to apologize to you with the page of cups. They could be sending you gifts They could be showing up at your workplace showing up at your house or that's what they are intending on doing They want to do that and I feel like this person especially because I'm recording this video November 29th and if you're watching it around November December this person does not want to end the year Without you like they don't want to go into 2024 and you guys are not talking they don't want that because they are afraid that if the year passed by and you guys are not talking that you will never talk again so who can stop thinking about you yeah eight of cups somebody that you emotionally withdrew from who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have the knight of swords maybe this person's reckless because we have the knight of swords in reverse we have so many reversal here so there's a lot of trapped energy stuck energy around this person who can't stop thinking about you yeah, we have the queen of wands this person is like feels like you're the queen of wands energy like the reason why this person is also stressed is because of the fact that you're very beautiful you're attractive um like you are you have a good head on your shoulders you're like you're a powerful individual with the queen of wands you're very wise you're fiery people are drawn to you and they know that you will find someone else it's like only a matter of time before you meet someone else and then you move on from them and that's what they're trying to avoid who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have the six of pentacles in reverse you see so many reversal and we have the four of cups and the six of wands they want to they want a new opportunity they don't want this to be a missed opportunity they want to have success with you but with the six of pentacles in reverse you're not giving to this person like guys there's like four or five cards that are in reverse no six cards that are already in reverse that tells me that there's a lot of block energy coming from this person there's a lot of like stagnancy coming from this person and they're hoping that they could change that i'm really getting like somebody who's pressed you have this person pressed by pal number two whoever's thinking about you i'm telling you this is like an ex this is definitely an ex energy somebody who you had like a long-term commitment committed relationship with like you know at least like two two to six years i'm getting like this is like the time frame that you spent with this person like a good amount of time with them where you had established some sort of like connection and you were fed up with this person because they kept on doing the same thing and you're like you know what i had enough you're not changing i'm not seeing some improvement i gotta go like i'm not doing this anymore i give you enough of my time and you're not you know reciprocating like you're not seeing any changes so who can't stop thinking about you who can't stop thinking about you yeah three cups didn't i say this is somebody who had you in third parties they had other people they had other options yeah we have the queen of cups again like they took your love for granted they took your kindness for a weakness and they wanted to manipulate the situation who can't stop thinking about you guys we have the lovers again gemini energy this person could be a gemini or you could be a gemini we have the ace of wands in reverse yeah you're no longer passionate about this person you're no longer you're no longer enthused yeah this is an ex-lover guys this is definitely an ex-lover that can't stop thinking about you and they don't want the year of 2024 to creep up on them and you're not you're not around this person still want to have access it's not even just about access but they also want to be in that committed relationship with you again they want to yeah the yeah this person to a source because you're being indifferent towards them and that's driving them mad like they don't want to lose this yeah the strength card like you're standing your ground to this person we have the strength twice you're standing your ground to them and now this person feels some type of way about that they they feel some type of way about your newfound power whether you are a woman or a man this person is like so like they're impressed by your power we have the two cups yeah this is an ex lover guys i can't make it up they feel like it's a burden now to come talk to you because of the fact that you're standing in your ground like you're standing in your ground you're standing your ground and you're being indifferent you're no longer attracted to them with the ace of wands and you're more focused on yourself you have glowed up this person's watching you on social media for sure even though the page of source is not here but i'm getting like this person's definitely watching you 
they're stalking you they are like heavily and this person is not liking what they're seeing and they know it's only a matter of time before somebody scoops you up and take you away from them and they don't want that to happen because they know that you're a good person like you're an amazing person and anybody would want would be like lucky to have you so this person is trying to hurry up and <laughs> this person's trying to hurry up and like lock you down so whether it is like you know by you know committing to you this person may even come back with a gift maybe this person's gonna give you something to show you like a token of appreciation to show you that they really care about you and this is going to be like um, a powerful realization for this person that to not take you for granted or anything that they have in their life for granted okay this person has definitely a soft spot for you okay like you're the only person that could have this person on their knees this is what i'm getting here you have this person eating at the palm of your hands like you don't even know it like this person's willing to do whatever it takes <laughs> to make sure you come back like but it's only up to you if you want to take them back but like yo 2024 have some people press like, they're like yo you're not leaving me in 2023 no this is what i'm getting here this person's like no I am not letting pile number two get away. Like they don't want you to be the one that got away. That's what they're afraid of. This is what I'm getting here, like heavy. I'm not even getting any other cards, but I'm just getting like channel messages from this person. Like they don't want you to be the one that got away. They are afraid. I feel like their friends are even stressing them out. <laughs> oh my God, guys, even their friends are stressing them out. Like, yo, you're gonna let pile number two go? okay like yeah you don't want that no more <laughs> oh my gosh i don't know who this person is but their friend are like kind of like clowning them for like even like letting you slip away because i feel like like i said it was a long-term commitment and this person like maybe their friends even like told them like yo if you continue you're gonna lose them they're gonna leave you and they maybe they didn't listen they were they got cocky with it yeah, this is somebody who's very cocky. They think that money could buy anything, especially with the King of Wands, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. They think their money is enough to keep somebody because they feel like they think that everybody's money hungry or like money hungry like them. But they got a rude awakening. Like you're, you don't like your love don't cost a thing. Maybe J Lo, <laughs> maybe you like J Lo. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Astro Dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be. So it could be your sign or this person's sign, okay? So who can't stop thinking about you? We have Scorpio, uh, first house. So this person could have Scorpio in first house. And we have, um, this is Neptune, okay? Then you may have Neptune, uh, Pluto, wow, oh my God. We have Neptune, Scorpio and Neptune, or Scorpio in first house. I'm like Scorpio in Pluto. Gosh. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, Pal3. Welcome to my channel. This is Celebrity Tarot by Get You again with another video. So, my Pal number three, you picked the clear quartz crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three, who can't stop thinking about you? Who's constantly thinking of you? So we have the page of swords. This is somebody who's stalking you on social media for sure. Okay, they're stalking you, watching you, spying on you. Ooh, spying. <laughs> okay, they're definitely spying. This person could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, don't have to be. Who can stop thinking about you? Who can not stop? We have the hangman. This is somebody who feels stuck. They could be stuck on you. Yeah, they're like stuck on you, like watching you, stalking you. 
yeah we have the king of swords definitely air sign this person could definitely have air heavy in their chart or you could have air in your chart but this is somebody who is stoic somebody who is emotionally unavailable or emotionally detached this is somebody who comes off as very rigid or cold or very stern who can't stop thinking about you who can't stop thinking about you we have the four of pentacles four of pentacles energy this is somebody who is um, very greedy possessive yeah i feel like they're possessive possessive over you okay who can't stop thinking about you like extremely possessive yeah we have the eight of wands they're afraid of coming to talk to you yeah they may have like an offer with the ace of pentacles but i don't feel like this offer is still standing like not that it's not still standing but it's like that's not the right word i'm looking for it's not um not that it's not tangible oh my gosh like this person is all i'm gonna talk it's not a valid offer it's not reliable but that's not the word i'm looking for but it's gonna come to me i feel like this person is all i'm gonna say it but with the eight of wands in reverse there's this person's not taking action towards you they could be at a distance there could be a standstill between the two of you this could be somebody who wants to date you or somebody who wants to do business with you or it could be like an ex-friend or something yeah this person feels weak with the strength card in reverse who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have the page of cups this person may come in with some sort of apology but this person is a player nine of wands yeah this is like a player maybe this is somebody who played games with you trying to manipulate you to do something that they wanted you to do and you were not down with it and like maybe you you bruise this person's ego yeah this is what i'm getting here this person's ego is bruised with an uh, <laughs> sorry for laughing guys oh my god i shouldn't be laughing but this person's ego is bruised guys like this person feels some type of way about you rejecting them who can't stop thinking about you yeah the two cups this is like a relationship guys yeah this is somebody you rejected maybe you didn't like the way that this person was behaving or like they were you know being wishy-washy or in and out or they were like inconsistent and i feel like you know what i'm getting with this connection is that you, this person was inconsistent with you and it caused you to be inconsistent with them it's like you're mirroring this person like you were basically showing how they were treating you and you were replicating that behavior so maybe you were inconsistent with this person maybe you weren't sure about them maybe you were like there was a lot of like back and forth between you and this person and you felt like oh my god like is this the right person for you like this person made you feel like you're all over the place this is what i'm getting here it made you feel like you were all over the place and this person may may have used that as an excuse to say like the reason why they're behaving that way is because you're all over the place but really they were the reason why you were all over the place in the first place because you see how it's like so confusing but i feel like this is what this person they they um basically created that energy of anxiety within you and then blamed you for feeling anxious i hope that makes sense so this person would do things that maybe they knew because i feel like this person is a manipulator um, they knew was going to create some sort of anxiety within you or they were trying to manipulate the situation and they knew by manipulating the situation that it was going to cause you some sort of anxiety or made you feel some type of way. And because you felt some type of way, maybe you fell into this person's trap and then you reacted in a certain way and now they're going to like, they kind of use the way that you reacted as like, you know, reactive abuse. I'm not getting that this is reactive abuse, but I'm just giving an example. You know, when somebody like, you know, they abuse you and then you react and then they get mad for you reacting. It's like, what the hell? Like, you're the one who did this and now you're getting mad for me reacting to your abuse. It's like, this is what I'm getting here. So I feel like it was like a situation where this person did some things. Maybe they pulled away. Maybe they pretended like they were busy when they were not or ignoring your texts or just not responding or like you know ignoring you for the whole day maybe they did something and then they ignore you the whole day thinking that you were gonna sweep it under the rug and then forget about it but it's like no like you're not gonna do this and then expect them to be okay with it because if i did it to you you wouldn't be okay so why would you expect me to be okay with it and then maybe this person trying to use your reaction to what they're doing as an excuse to blame you or point the finger this is what i'm getting here and now they're seeing that it didn't work with you and you moved away and now they're feeling some type of way about it 
who can't stop thinking about you i'm telling you we have the queen of cups this person's in their feelings and we have the hermit because you ghosted them or you are going hermit mode like you're withdrawing your energy from them and it's giving them a lot of anxiety with the eight of swords this person is trapped in fear they want to communicate with you but they're hesitant with the eight of wands because they know they're kind of guilty this is a guilty con this person has a guilty conscience because they know that they played a role in the reason why you guys are not talking right now or you guys are at a distance from each other or like oh my gosh like i feel like this is like overall the whole three piles is like different energies but it's like there's similarities like it's people that messed up and now they're upset that they like you guys the collective is not playing their games it's like no you're not gonna do stuff and then they expect me to just be like oh it's okay let's just get back together and pick up where we left off no yeah we have the queen of cups this person saying their feelings okay who can't stop thinking about you yeah it uh, is a was you're not you're not enthused, okay? You're not excited about this connection anymore. Like, I feel like initially you really wanted this person, like you really wanted to work, but then you're kind of like, this person is kind of like selfish. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. Like they, like they tell you what you want to hear because the Knight of Cups is a smooth talker, smooth operator, just like the Knight of Wands. But the Knight of Cups is more on the emotional standpoint where the Knight of Wands is more on a physical standpoint. Like they will give you a lot of compliments, sugarcoat everything and make it seem like it's sweet just to get in your pants. And it's like once they get what they want, they're out. OK, and the Knight of Cups is the same thing. The Knight of Cups will like, you know, sweep you off your feet, romance you, tell you all the sweet things. But they won't catch you when you start catching feelings for them. They're going to leave because they cannot handle strong emotions. Okay, they're only superficial. And that's what's happening. Now this person is like feeling some type of way for like not diving too deep with their feelings for you. We have the sun card and we have the fool. This person wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but they're afraid that they won't be successful. They're afraid that you may just reject them because of like what happened in the past. They want a new beginning with you because I just saw the world, okay? Yeah, they feel like you're going to judge them. The judgment card is here with the eight of cups. I'm just being called to speak on it but not take them. So this person feels like you called out judgment on them for emotionally walking away from you because I feel like this is, they're the one who bailed out of this connection. They walked away when you started like, you know, ca catching on to their games. Yeah, we have the page of wands in reverse. This could be somebody who's very combative. They may have a huge ego with the page of wands in reverse. This person may have a chip on their shoulders. Yeah, they have a chip on their shoulder, okay? They're very egotistical, um, self-centered, selfish. I'm getting like heavy on the selfish energy. Like it's all about me, 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 me. It's like, you know, what I want, what can I get? Like that's the energy I'm getting from this person. And I feel like maybe this is what they're used to doing with other relationships and it's not working anymore. Like, well, it's not working with you. Maybe they're getting their fix somewhere else, but with you it's not working and it's causing this person a lot of anguish with the Eight of Swords. Who can't stop thinking about you? Maybe like, you know, by now, maybe I don't know how long you guys been separated, but maybe by now they thought you would come back. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're in the Queen of Swords energy. You're not dealing with this person. You're not playing these games. Who can't stop thinking about you? Who can't stop thinking about you? Yeah, we have temperance. This person wants to have some sort of like um, truce. They really want to take a leap of faith, guys. We have the fool here twice. They're hoping that you would forgive them and that you would work things out with them. Yeah, this is somebody who played too many games. Like, oh my gosh, like grow up. <laughs> this is what I'm getting here. Who can't stop thinking about you? What do we have here? We have, yeah, the three of wands in reverse. This person is not taking any action towards you because they are afraid. They know that they messed up. Like this is guilty conscious. Like I said, they know they messed up and it's like, oh my gosh, now it's going to be a burden. It's going to be so hard. Like how, I'm, what, what can I say? Like they can't defend themselves. So basically this is what I'm getting here. This person cannot defend themselves because of the fact that they have nothing to go by like they can't say um they they can't say like oh it's because of you or 
it was a misunderstanding it's like no you created this storm and now you like you're you're mad that it's raining you're the one who created the storm you're the one who behaved that way and i'm just reacting to your behavior i'm just responding to your behavior and then you don't like what you're seeing it's like you don't like the taste of your own medicine this is what i'm getting here this person's getting a taste of their own medicine and they're not liking it so messages uh, what my messages for the collective holy crap dude there's a message for you yeah this person's not liking it with the nine of cups that's what came out who can't stop thinking about you yeah queen of wands this person knows that you are in the queen of wands energy you're feeling yourself and this person doesn't like that yeah two cups guys i'm telling you this is somebody that you were you guess we're in a relationship this is an an ex okay but like i feel like this relationship was like maybe still at the beginning stage of a commitment and you saw too many red flags and you're like nah i'm out like this is too much like we're not doing this okay like i did everything right i was there i was supportive i was consistent this person was inconsistent in and out um not acting i feel like this person was acting nonchalant as well like very like yeah i could yeah if i want someone else i could have someone else like yeah like making you feel like you were not all that when really you were this person was trying to chip away at your self-esteem because this person has low self-esteem okay anybody who needs multiple people at once to feel good about themselves is people that have low self-esteem why do you need to have the attention of like 20 people i'm just giving an example it doesn't mean this person wanted to have the attention of 20 people but i feel like this person with the knight of wands they love the attention of the crowd they love like all eyes on them they love to be praised they love to be complimented okay like they like when they go out people stare at them want to talk to them they love that they love that energy and they cannot contain it like and i feel like this person maybe when you guys used to go out they used to do things to get attention or even with you like maybe you used to get a lot of attention when you were going out with this person it kind of made them jealous they wanted to compete because we have the page of wands in reverse so very like um egotistical energy self-centered energy childlike energy or childish energy this person was very i'm getting like very childish okay like it's all about them and it's like who cares what you think who cares what you want like if i get what i want i'll like all is well and it's like um a relationship is a two-way street last time i checked okay it's not all about you okay so if this you want it to be all about you then you should date yourself okay <laughs> this is what i'm getting here but this person with a nine of cups in reverse they know that it's not wish fulfillment what is going on right now between the two of you is not wish fulfillment it's not like their the behavior that they had and the manipulation that they did did not yield the expected outcome okay whatever they were expecting from you did not happen like you maybe took this person by surprise maybe this person i feel like they have a tactic and they usually work on others but with you it didn't work at all this is what i'm getting here and this person's feeling some type of way about it okay so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so who can stop thinking about you who can stop thinking about you my problem is three we have Uranus, Scorpio, and we have fifth house. So this person could have Scorpio in fifth house or Scorpio in Uranus. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, part number three. Bye.